Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be talking about the three-point reversal pattern. So the three-point reversal pattern is, is commonly referred to as, you know, a one, two, three reversal or an ABC reversal. And, and basically really all it is, is it's based off of the Dow Jones theory of trend change or trend reversals. And what you're looking for is two legs down, followed by a corrective or a break of the trend line, a pull back to it to give you a swing high as an example, and then that's where you're going to be entering. And typically, that's usually where you start to see price reverse. That's where you start seeing the trend fade out a little bit. It's not able to hold the strength that it once was. Now, that might not be a full-blown reversal for the rest of the day, but that might be you know, a correction for the next hour or so, where price doesn't really go lower anymore, doesn't go higher anymore, just kind of fluctuates in the middle. So as an example, I've got one drawn up here, uh, and this is actually just from today's price action this morning. Uh, we had a couple legs down, and we had that first area where we were able to anchor our trend line on one and two. Now, really, you can do this on the last two. I mean, yeah, we could use this one up here as well, and it might have been kind of close, but you always want to use the last two of the swings before the trend line break. So in this case, we've got the first point here. We push down to a new low, pull back. That's the second point that we can anchor the trend line on. So now we've got a trend line drawn, and we push back down to a new low again. Now, this is the important part. We go back. We go back up and we break that trend line right there. And that's where we can start to see that there's a little bit of fluctuation in the price action that we're seeing. What we need to see is price to attempt to go back down again. And when it attempts to go back down again, we don't really want it to see, you know, we really don't want to see a new low down here. Uh, we want to see an attempt by the sellers in this case to come down, but we don't want to see it more than a double bottom in this case or a double top if you were going long. Now, what we can do with this is we can actually use these swing highs for a couple different reasons. Now, first things first, you know, we have, we've identified the actual pattern itself. We know that the pattern's setting up here. Now, how do we trade it? Well, again, the first part is finding the pattern, and that sometimes can be the hardest part about this. But we've got the pattern located. Now we're looking for an entry trigger. And an entry trigger is a couple different things. We need to see that trend line break. But once we have that trend line break, we want to see it create a new high pull down, and our entry is right off of that new high. And we're going to be entering long right there. Now, in this case, we actually got kind of a double entry right here. We have our normal entry pattern right here that would have triggered us in long and would have worked as well. But we came down again, and we pushed down and gave us a new high. So now we can actually use this swing high right here as just sort of an early entry. The main pattern is going to fire off here, but we do have an option for an early entry here. So we enter right here, and uh, that's, let's see here, that's going to be 144. So 144 is our entry long. Let's bump that to an, a pretty easy to see color here, chartreuse. Big fan of that color, always looks nice. Now, where, you know, we're in the, we're in the trade. Uh, we found the pattern, we got in the trade. Where do we place our stop loss? Where do we place our targets? You know, how do we manage this trade? Well, the stop loss, or the, the protective stop loss is going to get placed below the lows, uh, on a long trade or above the highs on a short trade. And what that means is the lowest low in this point in this long trade example was right here. So our stop is going to go right below that low down there. Now, perfect. So we're in the trade. We're long at 144. We've got our stop locked down here just a couple ticks below the low here. Where do our profit targets go? Well, this is where we start employing the previous swings. So the previous swing before this pattern entered was right here. So that's going to be our first target. After that, where's our second target? Well, following the same you know, category of thought, the next target's gonna be right up here. And you can see, zooming in on this, if we move this back over here, there was a lot of people that were watching that pattern. As soon as we tag that exact high, and that's always why you want to front run a little bit, but as soon as we tag that high, immediately bounced off. Now, that doesn't mean that it reversed you know, from there. It did end up going higher, but you can see it had a heck of a time getting past that level, and as soon as it did, it failed right back down again. So we're going to be using those previous two swing points here and here for the targets. The stop loss is going to go below the lows, and our entry, in this case, we got lucky for an early entry, but you could also use this entry point here. First target second target, done with the trade. So that's going to be taking a look at the three-point reversal pattern. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade, and don't forget to check out our trial at schoolofdtrade.com. Have a good one. Bye.